The BBC Forces program was a BBC radio station which operated from the 7th of January 1940 until the 26th of February 1944. Topic: <laughs> Foundation Upon the outbreak of World War II, the BBC closed the existing BBC National Programme and BBC Regional Programme, combining the two to form a single channel known as the BBC Home Service. Domestically, the BBC's medium wave transmitters continued to broadcast only the home service until the start of 1940, when, the lack of choice and of lighter programming for people serving in the armed forces having been noted, some of the former regional frequencies 804 and 877 kilohertz were given over to a new service known as the BBC Forces Programme. Programming. The BBC Home Service had been put together in a hurry and many of the pre-war favourite programmes had been lost. The new network mainly concentrated on news, informational programmes and music. In the early days of the war the theatre organist Sandy McPherson provided several hours a day of light organ music to fill gaps in the schedule. It became clear that the members of the armed services during the phony war, especially those in France who had been expecting to fight, were now mainly sat in barracks with little to do. The BBC Forces programme was launched to appeal directly to these men. Although intended for soldiers, civilians in England could receive the Forces programme. Among them it became more popular than the Home Service, and after the Battle of France the Forces programme continued to broadcast in the United Kingdom. The Forces programme's mixture of drama, comedy, popular music, features, quiz shows and variety was richer and more varied than the former national, although it continued to supply lengthy news bulletins and informational programmes and talk. Programming was developed for specific services. ACAC Beer Beer. For the anti-aircraft and barrage balloon stations. Garrison Theatre. For the Army. Danger, Men at Work. Sincerely yours, Vera Lynn. And. High gang for the forces generally. Initially, the station was on the air from 11 a.m. until 11 p.m. However, from Sunday, the 16th of June 1940, the station would commence its broadcasting day from 6:30 a.m. and would continue until 11 p.m. These broadcasting hours remained in place until the new BBC General Forces program began on Sunday, the 27th of February 1944, with the new General Forces program maintaining the same broadcasting hours. Commonwealth troops had broadcasts designed for them on the forces program. From 1942 American troops also received their own broadcasts on the service, popular American variety programming, such as Charlie McCarthy, The Bob Hope Show, and The Jack Benny Program, appeared on the BBC for the first time. The British benefited from wartime cooperation, they only had to pay $60 for The Bob Hope Show, which cost $12,000 to produce. A brief daily program on American sports also began, as did rebroadcasts of the American military's command performance and mail call. The broadcasts led to concerns over Americanization of the BBC, but a BBC executive stated that 90% of British soldiers would choose American music if they had a choice. Topic. Closure The BBC Forces program was replaced when the influx of American soldiers, used to a different style of entertainment programming, had to be catered for in the run-up to D-Day. The replacement service was named the BBC General Forces program and was also broadcast on the shortwave frequencies of the BBC Overseas Service, which itself had been known until 1939 as the BBC Empire Service and was relaunched again in 1965 as the BBC World Service. After VE Day, the frequencies of the former national program 201,149 kHz were taken over by the new BBC Light program. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Inheritance. The pre-war national program, whilst using the same frequencies and transmitters as the post-war light program, was not the general entertainment network its successor the light program became. The light program was more of a child of the forces and general forces program, with a style of presentation and programming that had not existed in the United Kingdom before the war. <laughs> 